an inferno, moving faster than firefighters can contain it. Winds gusting up to 50 kilometers an hour, and with the tourists moved to safety, it's the locals left with their burning island. We find Katerina watching everything she owns disappear. I have nothing, she cries. There goes my house, there go my animals. I have nothing left. Her husband, exasperated. What are we doing? It's all burned. Where is everybody, he says. The fires keep spreading. They are virtually impossible to control, moving from place to place. And we've been talking to firefighters here. In fact, there's more arriving just now. These are from Slovakia, and they're saying that there's very little they can do with these extremely heavy winds. And while the world has been focusing a lot on the tourists that have been evacuated from this island, it's the locals. We've been trying to get them to speak to us. Many so frustrated, they don't want to talk on camera, but there is real desperation here about how much they've lost and what's happening to their island. Many volunteers have been fighting the flames alone. We're told there are simply not enough crews on roads. The tourist areas were engulfed, causing the largest fire evacuation in Greece's history, almost 20,000 people by road and by sea. Jay and his family left on a boat. The winds had changed. The skies turned dark, he tells us, and they were told to leave immediately. Now he's come back to find their belongings. I'm absolutely wrecked, absolutely exhausted. It's just unprecedented, it's awful. Um, but everyone in the local area, you have to say the locals everywhere have been fantastic, helping everyone with anything they could do. Rhodes is just one of many areas across Greece that are burning. Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis addressed Parliament on Monday, stating, we are at war. It's the seventh day of wildfires on Rhodes. People say the air support was slow to arrive, and now the winds have picked up. One tells me, the fire has burned all the trees, taken all the mountains. It will only stop at the sea. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Kyotari, on the Greek island of Rhodes.